Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monday Night Raw, back up at my college apartment. I am allowed once again to record, so here we go, Monday Night Raw. Let's start here. The opening matchup going to be Connor and Victor, The Ascension, taking on The Shield. The Shield prepping for their match against J and J Security, who to thunk for the WWE Tag Team Championships at the Bad Blood pay-per-view this Sunday. Uh, so I, that's, that's just going to be a tune-up match right here. That's all this is going to be. Then we have uh, unfortunate news. Nikki Bella is injured out. Last week during the match, she aggravated her injury every once in a while. I uh, And this is another thing I kind of want to do with my universe mode is sometimes throw an injury in. If it fits, throw an injury in and and try to build to a bigger storyline. And with the Divas, this is the perfect opportunity. Nikki Bella has been injured out. She is no longer Divas champion. She'll hold that title until a new champion is crowned. But she is injured out. So a new Diva must become the Divas champion. And that's what this is about tonight. Brie Bella will take on Cameron in the first match. There are going to be five weeks of trying to figure out who the new Divas champion is going to be, including the pay-per-view, uh, in a month. So here we go. We've got Brie Bella versus Cameron. The winner of this match is entered into a four-Diva tournament. On that last Raw before the pay-per-view next month, we will have two Divas matches to decide the two Divas who will be entering for the Divas Championship at the pay-per-view. So, that is what is going to be going on with the Divas tonight. It's Brie Bella versus Cameron. Cameron, I believe, last week got a win over the former Divas Champion, so she must be coming off a lot of momentum, and Brie Bella is the sister of the champ. She's been the champ before. Uh, hopefully she can do it again, and we will see that tonight. All right, and then we got an Extreme Rules match. Now, this is going to come around because last week, Fandango and Dean Ambrose agreed to face off one-on-one. -on -one. If Fandango, Fandango said, if Dean Ambrose can beat me one-on-one -on -one in the middle of the ring, I'll give him a title opportunity. R-Truth is going to take offense to this. R-Truth is a little upset and a little angry that he's being overlooked. He beat Dean Ambrose, or he beat Fandango. He beat one of these two guys. And he had a couple matches with both of them. And so he's not too happy with these guys. And he's going to come out and he's going to whoop some ass. So we're going to see if we can beat people up with our truth. It, I, I don't know if it's going to work. All right, Ryback is going to be taking on John Cena. Last week, Ryback assaulted the Big Show. Big Show has been asked to stay home this week. Big Show's getting older in the years. And uh, after an attack like that, it was just safe. WWE gave him the week off. Ryback versus John Cena, co-main event of the evening. Bray Wyatt probably going to be floating around ringside. And then in the main event, former WWE champion Brock Lesnar wants to take off Jericho's head in a submission match. And that's going to be the main event of the evening. So, super excited. We're building to bad blood. Last week, Stephanie McMahon's epic announcement of the fatal four-way between Y2J, Chris Jericho, Brock Lesnar, Cena, and Bray Wyatt. So tonight, I'm looking for some good storylines from these two matches. Let's see if it happens. Here we go, match one. Uh, let's go normal momentum because I will change it in the match. I don't want to screw up the rest of the card. Connor and Victor, the Ascension, taking on the Shield, the WWE Tag Team Champions have been bringing in different tag teams from different organizations, NXT, Lucha Underground, all over the world just to fight for the right to call themselves the true champions. The Ascension was one of those teams. I believe they were upset early on by the Jericho family. And if not, they were upset early on by the J&J &J security. So, I mean, either way, the Ascension really failing to hit their mark here on Monday Night Raw. Need to go back to the drawing board. But right now, they get an opportunity 
to show the good fans of the WWE, the WWE Universe, what might have been here. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Nice. Well, the Ascension finally got to get some work in, put in some tag team entrances, some other cool stuff. Ah, oh, there he comes, Roman Reigns, the juggernaut of the shield, and Seth Rollins, the architect. The WWE Tag Team Champions. They're looking for a fight tonight. They want a good tune-up match before their big fight at Bad Blood on Sunday. And this is the perfect one to do it. Last week in a match against Prince Puma and Johnny Mundo from uh, El Rey Network, uh, Lucha Underground. They defeated them handedly. Here we go. Let's see here. We're going to have to, we have to be the shield here. I'm gonna be Seth Rollins. Oh, big Victor starting the match off with Roman Reigns and just tossing him around the ring. And I can actually see this matchup being a little more equalized than really any other matchup in the WWE. Connor, a big guy, a very juggernaut type of guy, just throws his fists around like a meat cleaver. Victor, very smart, places his and times his kicks. Oh, just swinging Roman Reigns around the ring. Well, Roman Reigns hasn't been able to get too much offense here in this match. Connor really taking it to one half of the tag team champions. And I've never seen a man get dominated or, or really dominate Roman, Roman Reigns as I'm seeing right here. Roman Reigns finally getting away, finally getting away from the onslaught, the slaughter of the Ascension. And here we go. Connor out. In comes Victor. The Ascension win round one. Oh, Seth Rollins immediately with a nice little back suplex there. He's in need of the face. Oh, and there you go, Victor. Victor with that rake of the eye, and now he's going ham on Seth Rollins, one half of the tag team champion. Seth Rollins off the ropes. Oh! I'm not quite sure what happened there. Looked like Seth Rollins went for a, a maneuver off the ropes, and, and Victor just ran right into him. Oh, there's a nice punch from Seth Rollins. Rollins with the Northern Lights suplex. He's got him covered. Oh, and there's a rope break. There's a beautiful bridge, beautifully done by Seth Rollins. Hey, wait a minute. What's he doing here? That'll send you the dentist. For the first time tonight, Seth Rollins looking to Oh, Rollins roll. Landing on the legs of Victor. He didn't really get the length that he wanted. So what all of this means is that by now we all know when Seth Rollins touches down in that ring, all hell is going to break loose. Rollins tossing Victor into the corner. Uh oh, oh he might be going. He might be going for the power bomb into the turnbuckle. And there goes Victor, and Victor's been taken out. Crowd trying to get Victor back into it. They want to see a good fight. They want to see a good competition. And now he is. Now he is. He's taking it to Seth Rollins. Back in the middle of the ring. Here's the pin. One, two, no. Not even a two count there. Oh, over the top rope. Oh my god, the kick from Victor. Really just took Seth Rollins. Outside the whole ring, and now he's in a bad spot here. Now he's in a bad spot. He's got to watch out. He's in the middle of the ascension right now. He's in the middle of the ascension. 
Well, here comes Roman Reigns. Here comes Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns going after Connor. Going after Connor. Oh, Connor, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, my God, onto the steel steps. Oh, my God. Seth Rollins wisely rolling out of the ring after he got hit with the signature move from Victor of the Ascension. Oh, face first off the mat, and there he goes. Seth Rollins now. Nice back suplex. Seth Rollins. He's got Connor. Connor just taking him out. The Ascension right now getting beat up by the Shield. Well, I'm not quite sure actually what happened over there. Connor has been taken out. Oh, Roman Reigns has to get out of the ring. He's got to get out of the ring. Oh, no, 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 Victor catching, catching Rollins, he's caught him. Oh, he's, oh, oh, no, 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 oh, broken up by Roman Reigns. And in comes Roman Reigns, look at this, Roman Reigns helping his tag team partner, Seth Rollins, oh my God, what a move. He's got, he's got him where he wants him, he's got him where he wants him. Seth Rollins. Going for the Seth Walker. Is it enough? Going for the pin. Here we go. One, two, no. Broken up by oh, Connor O'Brien. And now Seth Rollins going after Connor O'Brien. Connor. Seth Rollins now trying to stay in control of Victor. Tagging out to Roman Reigns. Here we go. Roman Reigns to the top rope. Oh, a double stomp to the back. Oh, we got another pin here, another pin attempt, and another breakup by Connor O'Brien. Keeping his man in the... Oh, and there you go, taken out. Oh, there's the Superman punch. Superman punch, connecting isn't enough. Isn't enough, going for the pin again. One, two, three, shield victorious. Well, that was a pretty brutal match. One that I'm pretty sure I, I would love to see another edition of this match. I mean, it was really close. Look at that. Seth Rollins was nearly on the edge of tapping out to Victor. Connor O'Brien making some excellent saves. There's the Superman punch. Devastating. Victor was knocked out. Connor was disposed of. And the Shield are victorious. They've got a match of bad blood against J&J Security for the Tag Team Championships. And they seem focused. But J&J Security have been the upsetters of this whole tournament. Will they do so again? Bad blood pay-per-view coming Sunday. We got to move along here on Monday Night Raw. Main event tonight being... Chris Jericho versus Brock Lesnar in a submission match. That one's going to be a very exciting match to watch. Will Someone will submit, and if we were to ever see a singles match between Jericho and Lesnar, we would have probably seen who would be the real true champion. But at Bad Blood, it will be a fatal four-way. So this is how this tournament is going to work. There are... Eight divas, I believe, that I have. And every week, a diva is going to move on in the tournament. Actually, I think I only have six, so this might work out much better than I anticipated. If so, it will be one match this week, one match next, one match the next, and then we'll have another match for the semifinals, semifinals and then we'll have the finals of the pay-per-view. Well, here we go. Cameron making her way down to the ring. 
One half of the Funkadactyls. Naomi put on some great matches. Cameron was always the fodder of the team. Same with Bree. She was always the fodder compared to her sister Nikki. Now both of these Divas are getting an opportunity here to become the new Divas champion. All they have to do is win two matches to get into the finals for the title match. They win three matches. They are the new Divas champion. And here we go. Look at this. Naomi's got a nice tight headlock in on Brie Bella. Brie Bella, of course, able to wrestle this match. Probably a little more focused this week. Her boy toy Big Show is not here tonight. Nice little Hurricane Rana from Cameron. Dragging Brie Bella into the middle of the ring and a nice sharp kick. You know, Brie Bella really losing her steam this past week as Nikki Bella's injury has cost her her championship. Brie Bella not as confident as you've seen her before. Oh, whoa, nice Northern Light Suplex doesn't choose to go for the bridge too early on. I like that decision. Brie Bella, Cameron battling for the Divas Championship, which we haven't seen in near a month ever since AJ Lee took Nikki out. Nikki tried to come back last week. It was too soon. And the champion got injured. She is, she has injured her leg. We still don't know the details of the injury, but it is a debilitating injury. She will be out for quite some time. AJ Lee is still on suspension for the heinous attack on the Divas champion. And now the other Divas are actually going to get a great opportunity here to become the Divas champion. Remember, we have that tremendous main event still to come. Oh yeah, I can't wait for that. There's no telling what we're well, Brie Bell is getting back into the match and the crowd doesn't like it. They want to see Cameron win this match here. She's trapped. Cameron, nice suplex there in the middle of the ring, and again just taking it to the midsection of Brie Bella. Brie Bella has been targeted right now. The back, the stomach, the abdomen, the chest of Brie Bella must be in agony. Cameron going to the top rope. Tornado DDT to Brie Bella. Oh, and there it is. There's that leg drop. And here we go, going for the pin. One, two, and Brie Bella kicking out. Will of a champion there to kick out of the finishing maneuver. And now Cameron. Cameron's getting it, and Brie Bella hitting. Oh, Brie mode. She's got the face buster. Here we go. One, two, three, no, and oh my goodness. Cameron kicks out. The Divas impressing here. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and the crowd showing their appreciation. It's been a long time since they've seen a Divas match that has actually been worth it in the past month. And there's a nice little arm bar. Is Cameron going to tap out here? Referee, you're in a bad spot. I can't see. Oh, and she, oh, she gets out of it. She gets out of the submission. What a great bout here on Monday Night Raw. Oh, nice little Russian leg sweep. Is that enough for the pin? No. I mean, the crowd is up on their feet in Pittsburgh. I know the Steelers couldn't win the championship, but they totally believe one of these two divas can. Oh, there's a hurricane run. A very quick from Cameron. And it, is it quick enough to earn her the victory? One, two, no. And these divas tonight are impressing. And this is only match one. We've got two more weeks of qualifying Divas. It's another Russian leg sweep, and it's not enough. The next Diva to hit a significant move, I believe, will win this match. It's an arms race. Who's going to hit it? Cameron going for that suplex. 
landed. It was really well done. Is it enough? Elbow to the face. One, two, three. And there you go. Cameron is moving on. Girl, bye. Look at that. Boom. Oh. Thigh straight to the face. Brie Bella kicking out at two. Brie Bella, look at this. Reversing. Taking away the finisher of Cameron. She would hit the face buster. Nothing would come of it. Cameron, look at that suplex. That was the last maneuver. Too much was taken out of Brie Bella. And one, two, three. Cameron moves on. In the tournament. In fact, we might even have a wild card round. Who knows? I'm still trying to work this diva thing out. As Cameron moves on. Nice. Well, to be totally honest, I would love to see Cameron as the Divas champion. She is the lowest rated uh, diva on this game. And I would love to see her overcome the odds and become the Divas champion. She's beaten Brie Bella. Last week she beat Nikki Bella. And I think she can get the job done. All right, well, coming up next, we've got Dean Ambrose versus Fondango. If Dean Ambrose wins, Dean Ambrose will get a title opportunity at the Bad Blood pay-per-view. I, I so hate that entrance now for the sole purpose of her horrible-looking face. comes Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose and Fandango have had a strange relationship over the past month. Feigning to... Well, what the hell's going on here? It's our truth And our truth is on his way down to the ring. Dean Ambrose, Fandango doesn't know what to make of it. They don't know... They don't know what to think. And our truth goes after Dean Ambrose. He goes after Dean Ambrose. And he's taking it, taking it to Dean Ambrose. And here comes Fandango. Fandango taking it to our to truth now. And now there's a battle going on on Monday Night Raw. These three men are just fighting each other. This was meant to be a singles matchup. Our truth has just shoved his way into the middle of it. Our truth he's got a chair, he's tossing it in the ring. Strong strike. Oh, into a spine buster from Dean Ambrose. Oh, and that was definitely a low blow referee. Gonna let it fly. This is just a fight here tonight. It was supposed to be a, a singles match. But I'm pretty sure that that has changed here. Well, Dean Ambrose is just being disposed of in the middle of the ring. Fandango going to take the opportunity that was given to him by R-Truth. R-Truth is still gathering weapons as Dean Ambrose and Fandango fight in the middle of the ring. There you go. He's just tossing them in. He's tossing them in. Weapon after weapon is being tossed into the middle of the ring here by R-Truth. Oh, my goodness. Looked like that caught to the back. A Fandango. Oh, look at that. Fandango. Fandango going for the pin. And there he goes. Broken up by our truth Oh. Oh. Our truth has a, has a Singapore cane. He's still trying to battle with it. Oh, man. He just got nailed in the face. He just got nailed in the face, and again. Oh. And our truth just sweeping and taking the cane to the back. And Dean Ambrose takes control. Our truth getting out of the way. Our truth tossing Fondango back into the ring. Oh, look at that. He's just choking the life out of Fondango. And Dean Ambrose likes it. It's, it's like a peace offering. It's 
like a peace offering, the ladder being clattered on. Look at that, he just used that Singapore cane. Oh no. There's a table in the ring now. Our truth is going, it looks like he's going straight for the ladder. All these weapons in the middle of the ring cannot be good for anybody. Oh, now he's got a baseball bat. He's tossing that in there. Why not? Why not? Oh. We've got a submission here. We've got a submission. Our truth breaking it up. And again breaking it up. I mean, our truth hasn't really been touched here. Dean Ambrose now has a steel chair. That man is a madman. Don't give him a steel chair. And again, broken up. Oh, oh! I think he was caught up on the ropes, too. That was just insult to injury. Now, Dean Ambrose tossed him to the corner. Our truth hitting Dean Ambrose in the face. Oh, oh, right onto the steel chair. Right onto the steel chair. And he's going to go for the pin here. He's going to go for the pin. One, two, three. Our truth wins this unofficial match on Monday Night Raw. And again, he has pinned one of these two competitors. I mean, look at that. They kept focusing on each other, and our truth picked up the victory. I mean, all of those weapons in the ring. Look at that. Dean Ambrose so close to tapping Fandango out. Once again, broken up. Our truth did a great job of keeping the match alive, letting them weaken each other. Look at this. Watch this. Oh, my God. Straight to the chair. Dean Ambrose was knocked out. Right there. Boom. Head straight to the steel. And our truth would pick up the victory. I mean, look at that. Look at the carnage in the middle of the ring. There's tables. There's a ladder. There's steel steps, a baseball bat, a cane, a chair. Fandango's knocked out on the outside of the ring. Dean Ambrose returning back to the crowd. And our truth has made his point here tonight. He wants the United States Championship just as bad as the other two do. Well, coming up next, we do have Ryback taking on John Cena. Ryback, of course, last week coming back from a little bit of a, a disappearance. He was Ever since he's lost the Tag Team Championships to the Shield, he has just not been the same. Him and Curtis Axel have been fighting backstage. They've been in a bad attitude. And Ryback last week coming out and assaulting the Big Show. Oh, here comes the big guy. Well, this guy's just a badass. He just loves to fight. He loves to hurt people. Look at the intensity on the man's face. The power of positivity surging through Ryback. Can the power of positivity battle the leader of hustle, loyalty, and respect, John Cena? I, John Cena chanting it up to the WWE Universe. He's ready to fight. He's ready to fight tonight. He's ready to fight Sunday night for the WWE Championship at Bad Blood. Co-main event of the evening here. I mean, this Monday Night Raw has been so great. We need two co-main events. And this isn't even all. We're going to have Jericho take on Lesnar in the main event. And here we go. Here we go. And right back. And Cena dodges. And there goes the referee. The referee is down and out right now. Referee down and out. And here we go. We're going to see this match go before our very eyes here. Referee is down. And, you know, I don't see Ryback really taking advantage of this. Bray Wyatt is down here at ringside. Perhaps something might come of this. 
speaking, I like what I've been seeing from him. A few more but I mean, look at the devastation that Ryback just caused that normal human being, that referee, just with one hit to the face. He's still knocked down. He's stirring. There you go. He's getting up a little bit. Just one punch to the face. He was knocked out for a good minute. Struggling for control. When they're battling again in the middle of the ring, Bray Wyatt looks like he's cautiously just scouting this match. Bray Wyatt. Well, I, I did get to talk to Stephanie, and she told me that Bray Wyatt was added to the match solely based on his new attitude. He, she knows that a month ago he was very unimpressive, but now with Naomi in his corner, he has changed his tune last week, I, and he was dominant. He, he beat people. Naomi is really giving him a positive image now, some image that the Wyatt family never could. Of course, WWE Champion Chris Jericho has taken over the Wyatt family. They are now called the Jericho family. Nice belly-to-belly -belly suplex from Cena. Nice elbow drop to follow up. Stretching out the Ryback. You know, the Ryback, he's super impressive. This guy, look at him, he's a massive human being. You know, Big Show's gone. You know, Big Show's gone for the week. I might actually have to talk to Ryback. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, nice shoulder block, but it was dodged out of the way by Cena. You know, I'm actually going to have to talk to Ryback about a, a little bit of a personal issue. But uh, I do want his help on something. I, love, I mean, Ryback is an impressive dude. I think he's just the guy for the job. Is Cena with a strong right hand. Ryback comes back, Luthez, and now he's just bashing the body of Cena down in the mat. Letting gravity do his work, going for the pin. One. Yeah, it's not going to be enough to take down Super Cena. You got to do something else. Brock Lesnar struggled to keep Cena down. And even when Lesnar won, Lesnar was so hurt. Jericho would cash in Money in the Bank to become the WWE Champion. Oh, and Ryback just taking Cena out over the top rope. He's out here in front of King and Michael Cole here. There's an elbow to the face. Well, more threatening than anything. They're back in the middle of the ring. It's a good thing. Create the carnage inside the ring. Cena tossing Ryback off the ropes. He runs right into him. A little bit of a mistake there. Belly to belly suplex. Perhaps uh, still a little taken out from that harsh clothesline outside the ring. Where's Cena going here? What is he doing? Cena running around the ring, getting back in, only to get chopped by Ryback and another belly to belly. And there's a nice pin, a very strong pin. Is it enough? No. Cena again to the outside. Cena getting a little frustrated, taking apart the announce table. Right back. Oh! I mean, I don't know if that was the wisest decision by John Cena. I don't know if that was the wisest decision by John Cena. Oh, he's landed. He's landed right on that protector for the announce table. And that was Cena's own fault. Cena tore the announce table apart out of frustration. And now look. Oh my god, onto the steel steps. Referee to a six count, Bray Wyatt cheering it on. Ryback content to win by count out. Referee to a seven. The crowd willing John Cena to his feet. Ryback trying to stop it. We're at nine, John Cena. Can he get back into the ring? He does. Nine and a half, so close to being disqualified here. And here comes Ryback. 
Ryback has John Cena up. He's marching around the ring. And he's got him down. And he's going for the power pin. It's enough. One, two, three. No. No, he, he did not. He just kicked out. Oh, my God. John Cena kicked out. DDT to Ryback. John Cena now. Trying to come back in the matchup. And look at this. Bray Wyatt does not like this at all. How in the hell does John Cena do it? How do you, how do you kick out a shell shock? There's another suplex. Is it enough? One, two, three, and there you go. There you go. And it looked like Bray Wyatt did something. Let me look at the replay. I want to see the replay there. Hold on. I didn't see the replay. Let's see here. We see Ryback controlled most of the match. It frustrated Cena. I mean, there's the DDT. Cena was coming back to the matchup. I remember, all right. Here we go. Okay, so there's that suplex right here. Right here. Watch this. Watch this. Watch right here. There, right there. Right there. Bray Wyatt's holding down the feet of John Cena. John Cena couldn't kick out. He wanted to embarrass John Cena, and that's exactly what happened. Well, in any case, I mean, Ryback is still an impressive person. I'm sure he could have won that match on his own. But right now, he had the help of Bray Wyatt. Ryback looks a bit confused that Bray Wyatt's in the ring cheering him on. But hey, I mean, yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't have complained either. It's either that or you're getting Sister Abigail in the middle of the ring. And Lord knows nobody likes that. Well, I am going to talk to Ryback about a little bit of a personal issue. But we do have Jericho versus Brock. Lesnar, main event time here on Monday Night Raw. The co-main event was great. Let's see if we can make this main event even better as the WWE Champion makes his way down to the ring. Well, some of them into it, some of them not. A little bit of a 50-50 split for Jericho here in Pittsburgh. Chris Jericho, very fancy, loves lights, loves being a rock star, and that's what he has customized his championship belt to idolize. Look at it, it's sparkling. This is a submission match, as reminded by the ring announcer. I mean, look at that, look at the little lights on his belt. It's got that thing glittering up nice and shiny but is it a little too late because he's got Lesnar tonight oh and here comes the beast incarnate we're awaiting the arrival of Brock Lesnar and Lesnar is coming out from behind and he's taken well that's just that's not even needed that's not even needed well here we go we're starting off the matchup starting off the matchup and it's not even fair it's not even fair but Jericho DDT to the Beast Incarnate. And now Jericho on the attack. Jericho got hit from behind. He reversed the finishing maneuver of Lesnar. Oh, now attacking the legs of the Beast Incarnate. Very wise move by the WWE Champion. And again gonna go for the legs. Brock Lesnar lost the championship. He's embarrassed. I get it. He lost it once to Seth Rollins after Rollins cashed in money in the bank. And now he doesn't want to lose it again. And he did at the last pay-per-view. And now he gets a chance at Bad Blood. He wants to make a statement. He's got him in a... In an un, oh, he got out. He got out. Batista utilized that move on Friday Night SmackDown on Triple H. And Triple H couldn't get out. Jericho did. Master of a thousand submission holds, however, is Jericho. If anyone could get out of that one, Jericho can. Chris Jericho to the back of Lesnar. He's Rojo, reverse suplex. Now just continuing the attack here, but Lesnar with the German suplex, well, with the belly to belly. Oh, look at that. 
Again, taking down Lesnar. Look at him. He's targeting the limbs. Oh! Could have broken his arm. Lesnar needs to be careful. I mean, I know he wanted to fight someone here tonight. I know he wanted to possibly take somebody out. But you're facing Jericho in a submission match. And here we go. Monday Night Raw. And Jericho might tap Lesnar out to the walls. The walls of Jericho. But Lesnar holds on. He noticed Lesnar was getting close to the ropes. He let the let the submission go and again attacking the arm of the beast incarnate. I mean that's a, that's an insanely huge individual, ladies and gentlemen. Look at his shoulders, look at his biceps, look at his abs, look at him. He's, he's an impeccable human being. Now the crowd's starting to boo as Lesnar starts to get more momentum. And look at this again. Again, he's got him in that hold. He's got him in that hold again. Oh, and, his, and there you go. There's a tap out from Chris Jericho. And what do you expect? It was attacked from behind. Chris Jericho tried all he could. But he was attacked from behind. Well, there you go. There's the DDT. You see he got out of the F5. There's that fall away slam. And that unbreakable submission move by Brock Lesnar. If that happens at Bad Blood, he will once again be the WWE Champion. And that is something Stephanie McMahon does not want. He's grabbing a mic and this can't be good. There's no Paul Heyman here. Lesnar, Paul Heyman isn't here. Paul Heyman isn't here. He usually runs the mic for Lesnar. Lesnar's got a mic in his hands right now. See? That is what happens when you attack somebody from behind. It would have been a worse beatdown if he had had a match with John Cena earlier tonight. I should still be the WWE Champion and at bad blood, I'm gonna win it back. While well, a very unimpactful promo from Brock Lesnar, but without Paul Heyman, I mean, what can you do? Brock Lesnar sending his message physically to the WWE Champion. Well, John Cena also losing tonight. They've lost some momentum. They got a fatal four-way at Bad Blood for the WWE Championship. Also from Raw, The Shield will be taking on J&J &J Security for the WWE Tag Team Championships. We will have a triple threat match. This is just announced. Breaking news here. Right at the end of Raw. Triple threat TLC match. Dean Ambrose. R-Truth. Fandango. For the United States Championship. That being said. Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Derek D. Ginger King. Stay tuned. For Smackdown.